Hi, this is Sean here, and I'm in the studio today with Hang Kyung and Hafiz, and we're going to talk about the Renault case today. So guys, uh, what were your first reactions when you heard about the incident? Uh, I think the first thing that crossed my mind was how dangerous it actually was. I mean, you had you have 19 other drivers behind him, you have Singapore volunteer marshals on the track, and if anything happened, you know, it could have been really bad. Right, right. Yeah, same same thing here. I was like, I was thinking, what was, if I was thinking? Actually, I didn't think it would be true because because I didn't think that Nelson Piquet would be that stupid. But um, as to you know, risk his life, risk the lives of others to to cheat. Looking back um, and knowing that it was a stage crash, like did that evoke any emotions in you? I mean, well, I mean if. When I found out that when when Renault finally admitted um, that they 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 said they would not contest the the decision the decision allegations, thereby admitting their fault, I thought that um, it is probably one of the worst acts of cheating in the history of sports. Renault are not a small team; they are a marquee brand in Formula One, and you know uh, it did affect their image quite badly, I think, and. Um, it was shocking. It was definitely shocking. I think it shocked the whole. World. Nobody wanted to believe that it could happen, but at the end of the day, it did happen. So, do you feel that um, the two years suspended ban is a fair punishment? Fair. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's not even a punishment. They, they were not punished. Basically, uh, I think if you read the uh, F1 statement quite carefully, uh, only if Renault decides to cheat in a similar way again, if they decide to deliberately crash again. Which is not going to happen. Then the then the ban comes into play. Uh, still, it's they, they were not punished at all. It's a major charity of justice because it doesn't the, the punishment doesn't even fit the, the the crime. You see, you know you know sometimes you need to meet out a punishment so that you preserve the integrity of the sport. You see, you know like like, like you know football you give a lengthy ban to violent footballers. No, those who stamp on their feet like Emmanuel Adi, Adibayo last time, a three-match ban. That, that is you know, just to say that you know, we do not allow this, we could do not condone this happening in our kind of sport. By, by letting off Renault so lightly, you are saying that, you know, hey, might as well cheat, then apologise later, you, know, you, might get off, you might get off with a slap on the wrist only. Do you think that Briatore is like stepping down? Um, was that a... Is he single-handedly to blame or was he taking a fall for the team? What are your views on that? Well, we don't know what exactly happened. Briatore continues to insist that he had no part to play. He did not tell PK to crash. He is about to sue the FIA for banning him from the sport. So right now we don't exactly know what happened uh, behind closed doors. Uh, is, is Biratori the only person to blame? I mean, of course not. PK and Pat Simmons were involved. Uh, Renault are the team to, 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 to blame. Well, of course, they, they have responsibility. I mean, they, they have to uh, take a, lot, a large portion, uh, portion of the blame. Uh, I think by the end of the day, when it comes to the punishment, I think it is the FIA who is at fault. I mean, I mean we have to understand that. Uh, Formula 1 is under a lot of pressure. They, they are losing a lot of money and... Uh, if they lost Renault, the, the the sport would have been hurt really, really badly. How about Piquet himself? What do you think um, about his future and his career? I mean, his image. <laughs> his career is gone. Man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if Piquet was a good driver, <laughs> then it would be one story. But he is not a very good driver, and he never actually had much of a future in the sport anyway. You know, if he does come back, it will be with another small team. He's not going to get a big ride ever again because of what he did. Yeah. Except at the end of the day, it depends on how good a driver he is. Mm. I mean, somebody like Michael Schumacher, mm. he has cheated before, yep. and he's been punished before, and he's always bounced back, and he's remembered as being a seven-time world champion, and not a cheat. But Nelson Piquet, he's not going to achieve anything, so at the end of the day, he's going to be remembered as a cheat.